Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com and this video is showing how to draw a larger floor plan and this one uses some columns and walls and then there's some more walls after that but I'm just going to show you how to get started on it and it's a long video about 16 minutes so sit down grab a cold one if you like and I'm going to start by working off an existing drawing that already has the layers and my units are in decimal but I'm going to want architectural so I'm going to set it up to be my unit type as architectural which means I can enter in feet and inches and I apologize in advance to the people that use metric and from there I'm just going to show you approximately what we're drawing and this is from AutoCAD Tutorial 2-1 on MyCADSite.com and I'm just going to zoom this in and pan around and you'll see that if uh, you look all the walls are based off of concrete uh, columns and they are one foot six by one foot which you can't just see it's slightly off screen and all the walls are three inches off uh, from the exterior so just moving around you'll see in this exercise there's lots of things to draw there's wall dividers furniture and this project can take a little while to complete and but really you'll find as I use in the example as I start drawing a lot of it is done just by using uh, the standard commands you learned in the first level which would be uh, copy move offset trim extend rectangle and the thing I can start now with is a rectangle and you'll see I want to make it 12 inches wide by 1 foot 6 and that was the size shown there and probably what I should do is check this see if it's on the right layer and it's not I'm drawing on the furniture layer but now what I need to do is figure out how far away each one is and if I look at the drawing each uh, column as they run across horizontally are at 30 foot intervals and so now I want to set up my limits to reflect the larger drawing so I'm going to make it 100 feet by about 50 feet and now if I do a zoom all I've got a larger drawing space to work with so I've got that and I'm just going to move it up to the top left corner and start working from there so I'm copying it over 15 feet and then 30 feet and so on then at this point as I was doing it I realized I didn't need the 50 foot 15 foot one so I'm just going to undo that and go back to the beginning and make my copies at 30 feet 60 feet and 90 feet and now I have the width of the building in place and the four columns running across the top so I just gotta get my little advertisement out of the way here and copy that up to the drawing where it's not gonna harm anything so now what I want to do is copy the blocks down and using the measurements I'm just using the copy command to copy all four of them straight down and I know that not all of them are used some of them are some of them aren't but they are in a grid pattern like most columns would be and so I'm just gonna copy them down and now I have one more row at the bottom and copy those down and this follows my usual technique of drawing where I start with how I would build it and in a lot of cases I'd put the columns in first then put up the walls and then the openings and the doors and the last thing I would do is add the furniture so now I've got everything set on the right layer and if I zoom in I can see that each one of these is about right what I need it to be so I'm just putting my walls in now and you'll see I'm clicking right down to the corners even though they are offset that little bit what I am going to do is then move them up and so I've moved them up so they're off the ends now and now all I need to do is offset 
each of these walls six inches to give me my wall thickness. And for those of you that are paying attention, you'll notice that my walls are uh, offset the wrong way, but I'm not going to redo this video. I just want you to let you know that, yes, we all make mistakes. So I've got some more there to go, and just let me complete those. I almost forgot to put those on the correct layer. So now I'm going to do the same thing, moving down the drawing and just keep doing corner to corner and this is just a quick easy way of moving around the drawing just working from my exterior in this way I know that I get the range and now I've offset copied those over or sorry offset move them and then offset them six inches and this one in the corner I don't need so now I've got my uh, top left wall ready to go and now I'm just going to move around, put one more in there move it up three inches or actually in this case I offset it six inches and then move them both up which is another way of doing it so I, like I say there's many approaches to how you uh, work in AutoCAD not necessarily one is the best but the one that you choose will be a good way of working as long as it's efficient. And the same thing here and on this bottom one here I'm just going to go straight across I'm going to offset it six inches and then I'm going to move them both up three inches and as you'll notice they'll they run through the middle of this column so I'm just going to use that column to trim out the walls in the middle and that's another way of doing it rather than drawing individual wall segments and here I am now and I'm just going to do the same thing here and offset at six inches and then move them over three inches from there and then trim them out and so if you have a lot of things um, you just have to try it out each way and find out which way is more comfortable for you to work with and here's the other one I select my trimming line and then the objects to be trimmed in this case the walls so there's the perimeter of my walls I've got all the blocks in place sorry the columns in place and now I can put in an interior wall and this one runs straight across the bottom of the uh, offices that are on the top of the drawing and standard thing, draw it in, offset it, and then uh, trim it up to get my walls. So far, it's just been a lot of basic things. All the dimensions are there, and it's just uh, good practice with offsetting, trimming. And now what I need to do is uh, put in the walls here, and they are off the middle. So I'm just going to offset them three inches each way and then I can erase the line in the middle and that gives me my walls between the columns so now I just need to copy these two walls over using a common base point of the top left corner to the top left column corner of that column and now I've got those walls in so now I'm set pretty good and now I'm just going to put in a wall that divides the offices and so I put a line in right down the middle because that is the midpoint that it's measured to and offset that three inches each way and I'm just going to do a quick dimension from here to here should be 30 feet and it's showing up as quite a bit more so what I need to do is uh, go in and fix that so I'm just going to quickly go into my uh, dimension style manager and this is covered in a later tutorial and you'll see that all the dimensions are multiplied by 12 this is from an earlier drawing I was working on which is not a standard thing I do so now I need to update my dimensions and select all the dimensions and now I'm back to 30 feet and now what I want to do is just check that my wall to the interior is 15 feet 
So I go from the center to the center of the block and show that that too is at 15 degrees and then I want to put them on the correct layer. So now I'll erase that middle line and now what I want to do is create the openings for the doors and that's not really dimensioned as to how far off the door opening is from the wall but I'm just going to go with uh, another three inches or what have you and extend that down and now from here what I'm doing is trimming out the excess but I forgot something again and so what I need to do is undo that get it back to where I wanted in this case I'm just using grips to put the lines back to where they were now actually what I want to do is offset the door opening which is three feet four so now I've got my all my lines in place I can just trim everything out and now I'm good to go now I've got my two door openings just like in the drawing so as you can see there's not a lot of work to do but since I have the same thing over in the next two sections I'm good gonna make a decision to just copy it over and so I'm going to copy using the common point of the top right corner of the column to the next one and to the next one again so now I've got all my rooms drawn up at the top there all that's left there is to put in the doors and the furniture and that part of the drawing would be complete and for the furniture you'll notice that a lot of it is mirrored over from one room to the next so now I'm just copying this down for the columns on the other side of the double doors on the left hand side and so I've got that in and once again just trim out the wall in the middle and I'm good to go and now all I need to do is move the walls over in this case I'm just going to put in uh, the wall for the bottom of the hallway first and so I put that in and I'll move that down three inches also so now I'm going to zoom in because I'm working in this area here and so now I'm going to have a wall that comes down here I could just draw it arbitrarily but instead I'd like to just offset this one four feet and now I'm going to extend that line because since it had been trimmed a little shorter and bring that up so that it meets with the two walls in the hallway offset that six inches and then I can erase those two so now I'm set once again with that wall and here I'm just going to offset them and trim up that opening right in the middle trim out those, zoom in, trim out that line and trim out that line so now my walls are complete for that entrance on what would be the west side of the building so now I'm drawing a line to the middle of the two points if you remember the M2P O-snap I'm going to offset that two inches and I'm just setting this up so that I can draw a rectangle for the door from the, that corner of the hinge point to the center point and I've now got my rectangle and now I'm going to rotate it from the hinge point 270 degrees or negative 90 degrees and I'm keeping that line so that I can use it for a circle so I'm going to be drawing a circle from my hinge point straight out to the end of my door and you'll see that it still crosses that one so I can trim up the circle using the door and my construction line and then erase my construction line and there's my door and it's on the wrong layer so I'm just going to put that on the door layer now
and you can still faintly see it and now I'm just going to mirror them over to the other side so now I've got a set of double doors ready to go and really that's about 90 percent of the drawing right there the furniture some of the chairs and such you'll be shown in later uh, tutorials which you can save for later or try and draw them now since they're not but they're not uh, dimensioned out but the main thing is just to work on your basics check your accuracy and learn that the most common commands are going to be used a lot so get to learn them very well work with them quickly and accurately and from there just uh, keep working through the drawing and you should have it done um, once again go back to mycadsite.com and go to tutorial 2-1 and that will give you all the dimensions for this floor plan as well as the tips on setting up a drawing and all the other tutorials that go with